December day We are on our merry way Riding along just singing a song Barreling through the snow Bells are jingling, snowflakes tingling Rudolph knows where to go On this cold Okay, y'all, this morning we're gonna make the copycat Starbucks caramel apple spice drink. In this pot, I put one cup of water. I'm gonna put a half cup more. Half a cup of brown sugar. This is not the drink. This is the cinnamon syrup that we're making. It's also a Starbucks copycat cinnamon syrup. So this is not the drink yet. This is just the syrup that we're gonna put in the drink. So we have the brown sugar and the water in there. Now we're gonna put some regular sugar. And I had a little squirt bottle. Hey, I'll use that same squirt bottle that I used for the Christmas tree pancakes the other day. And we'll put the syrup in that. That way when we want this drink again, we already have the syrup made up and ready to go. We're gonna put yeah, four cinnamon sticks in there. Okay, so I'm just whisking together the sugars and you can wait and put the cinnamon sticks in after you do this whisking part, but they're not in the way that much. Little cinnamon boats in there. <laughs> We're gonna bring it to a bowl and then turn it down to simmer and we're just gonna let it simmer for 15 minutes. Then we'll add some vanilla to it. While we're waiting on the syrup to get done, we're gonna put our names on our ornaments, get them strung up and on the tree. Titus has to drill some holes in some of them for me, the ones that didn't have holes. Now we need to put on here, this was the year 21 when you made it and the tree was from 2020. Now, can you blow them off? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do? Thanks. Hold on. Oh, and I love how it's right there with that pine cone. That's the reason I put it there. Mm -hmm. This tree's drinking more water than I could ever imagine. This <laughs> yeah. ain't gonna give up the ghost because it's definitely been putting it down. <laughs> okay, it's been about 15 minutes. I removed the syrup from the heat. We're gonna put in a tablespoon of vanilla. We're gonna remove the cinnamon sticks. Yeah, Donna's gonna take those out. Okay, so I've got this little bottle here and I just have this funnel. We're gonna pour the syrup into the bottle. Probably gonna fill it up. Mm -hmm. So we'll just let that sit there and cool. We're gonna steam some apple juice. This makes a lot of these drinks because for each glass of the apple, what is it called? Caramel apple spice. You only need like two tablespoons of this syrup. So this makes a lot. You can just stick it in the refrigerator and then whenever you know you're ready for one of these, you've already got all the syrup prepared and ready to go. All right, so we washed out the pot. Now we're just gonna pour in this apple juice. So we're just gonna let this steam and it's already starting to steam. You just wanna get it hot. Okay, so we've got some of the steamed apple juice in there. Now you're just gonna put the cinnamon syrup and it just needs to be about two to three tablespoons. I'm just gonna eyeball it there. So that's how I like it. I like to drink it just like that. Just stir it up a little bit and it tastes like a cinnamon apple cider drink. But this is how Starbucks serves it. So we have that part. You add whipped cream and caramel drizzle. Caramel apple spice. And that's it, it's really good. But like I said, I like mine without the whipped cream. I don't know, whipped cream and the apple juice kind of throws me off a little bit, but it is good.
Smiley. All right, everybody, it's been a long day. We're gonna go ahead and start some vegetable soup here. <laughs> he's here for lunch, and he's already had a long day. What we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare some vegetable soup here. For supper tonight. For supper tonight. It's gonna cook all the, the rest, rest of, of the day. day. <laughs> now. We're gonna need some off-brand tomato soup, some Rotel tomato paste, which is great value. Yeah, Rotel was on sale at Ingalls the other day, so I got a few of them. Make sure you get it on sale. If you don't get it on sale, don't buy it. Not at Ingalls. Do not buy it. <laughs> I'm gonna be defrosting the ground beef for you. Okay, while I'm you gonna do be this. chopping vegetables. I'm actually gonna put some kind of chunked up tomatoes in here, even oh, though yeah, I, I know the Rotel's got tomatoes in it. Fresh, though, is like. Fresh yummy. makes Oh, wait, these are the sandwich tomatoes. These well, are. We can always buy new ones. Okay. I love some tomato sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> here, I sound like a Pillsbury Doughboy. You want some All right. right. Now we're getting All on right. over here to another All onion. Right. Manly's gonna have a piece of banana bread. He loves banana bread. Nana bread, Mama. Yeah, nana bread. I never wanted to go ahead and pit itself. I'm happy about that. Now what? Let's get us a little bit of this tomato. Let's go with what I'm feeling. If I don't feel it, I ain't doing it. But I'm feeling this right here. Just like that. Kaboom. This is what I'm feeling at this moment. What is your favorite Christmas song? I have to add something else to our board. We've been taking turns adding different things to the. Um, I wish I could tell you my favorite Christmas. Almost song. a chicken <laughs> kitchen. I, I love them board. all. I love all. But tell Christmas me what's your team. favorite? Like, what's the first Christmas song that comes to your head when you think Christmas songs? Silver bells. Silver bells. Okay, let's see. See, that just happened right there. I'm just going off field right here. Ring a ling. Ring a ling. That's today's Christmas message. What we're gonna do? I've decided to change something again off of feeling. I'm going to put some butter in this deal right here, and we're going to just pop in vegetables right there and let them things kind of cook. And Fallon's already bringing them in here. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> here we go. Let me get some butter. Got your nana bread? I got nana bread. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, boy. Now, I'm probably going to get my universal pan out. I wouldn't put the tomatoes in there. Well, baby, I already did. Well, I would take them out. Well, baby, I'm not going to. No, I would take them out. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to get my universal okay. pan right here. Okay. And I'm going to let this be the deal right here. I'm going to go ahead and move these vegetables around because that's what I'm feeling. Amazing. Let's put our universal pan back on the top. Now, some of you don't know what you're missing out there. You're not feeling the joy you need to feel because you need to get in there and put your hands on some onions and some pepper and cut them. Put your rotel right down in there. Let's open us up a can of tomato soup. We're gonna go ahead and pop us another can in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of tomato paste. Now I can already tell that our stuff over here underneath our universal pan's doing the deal, so I'm gonna go ahead and check on it. Oh yes, this is ready to go in here now. Put our meat in here. Well, hello. How are y'all this fine evening? <laughs> All right, y'all, it's a couple of hours later. We just got finished with schoolwork. Everybody's got their stuff put up except Jonah. He left his stuff over on the table. He's still got to come get that. After that, all the school stuff is put away. I need to clean up this kitchen. It is a mess right now. Tyler's bringing in music equipment from where they played over the weekend. It was still in the back of the van and then we moved it into the laundry room. Then they moved it into the garage and now he's putting it where it goes. Mainly keeps turning this light off because he wants it to be night. He loves at night time when it's dark and we just turn all the lights off except for the Christmas lights. He loves that and so all throughout the day he's been trying to turn all the lights off just so it can be just the Christmas lights. 
box. I got the kids these little wood scene kits to work on. You want the choo-choo train? Okay. Okay, there's the choo-choo train. Cece has a little gingerbread house. Yep. And this one is just a Christmas tree with Santa, reindeer, snowman. You love coloring, don't you, Manny? I do too. Mm -hmm. I Cece get loves it. I'm gonna put this Pillsbury French bread in the oven to go with the soup. We also have some of those rolls that we got yesterday to go with the pork chops that we had. We have some of those left over too. Do a little spray action. Four diagonal slices. And then it's going in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Going to put up the chickens and then it's time to eat. Are you ready to eat, Manny? Oh, baby bull. Oh, you wanna ride that baby bull? Okay. Okay, I guess you can ride him for a minute. <laughs> All right, let's shut the gate. Not not cat cats. You know it's Christmas when the snow starts to fall. Then you know it's Christmas for the children above all. Then you know it's Christmas. Cuz on his way. We stand under the mistletoe, and then it's Christmas Day. The joyful times we witness forever stays with us. Soon Rudolph.